Welcome back to KHTS AM 1220. We are Samantha and Jake from LINK, Linking Individuals Network Connections. We are back with David Nahar, who is the owner of GPA, Global Prep Academy here in Santa Clarita. We were just talking about his background and what he does to help students, and we're going to continue talking about that. So, Jake, if you want to Yeah, continue. so, um, David, you there? Yeah, I'm right here. Awesome. So... Uh, we talked about right before uh, we had a break about uh, high school students and what they're doing and what they're not doing uh, when they're preparing for the college process and the missions process. But um, I'm sure since you have worked with a lot, a lot of kids, what are some of the silliest reasons of why people think they, they're not going to apply to college or they're not going to get into college? Good question. Again, I think it's about um, opening your gaze. It's about expanding beyond your immediate borders. Um, I'll speak to Santa Clarita students in particular. You have a great community college that's shining on Valencia Boulevard. We have the UCs and the Cal States that are beckoning to us and saying, hey, let's come to a local school. Let's not um, go beyond the borders of California. And I believe um, that your goal as a student is to make sure that you're the most interesting person humanly possible. I want you to be at a party at 27 years old and be the most interesting person in the room. And one of the ways to be able to do that is to push yourself, is to be slightly uncomfortable. And I think that um, uh, Santa Clarita students sometimes only apply uh, to Cal States and to UCs and don't see the opportunities that are all over this country. Um, uh, they, they're not looking at liberal arts colleges, like, for example, uh, Jake is looking at um, getting into schools that are top 100 schools, top 50 schools, but they're in Iowa. But there are amazing opportunities at Grinnell, uh, Grinnell College where you're going to meet people from all over the United States. Right. You're going to meet people from all over the world. You're going to be pushed. You're going to be in this little environment where you're sitting around a table of 10 and 12 students and you're not hiding in the back of a lecture hall of 800 students. You're not just at a UC. Potentially, you can be showing up to two classes, not going again and buying the notes online. And so I, I really hope that students look beyond just their immediate surroundings, their immediate bubble, and push themselves out into this country of amazing universities and colleges. Um, so that's what we encourage at Global Prep Academy. Right. Well, that's yeah. great. And speaking of colleges, some colleges require interviews. Well, not necessarily require, they ask for interviews. During the interview process, do you know are interviews given to everybody in the area? Is it selective? Is everybody eligible for one? Because I'm personally interested, and I'm sure a lot of kids who are applying, if they're not getting an interview, they're kind of worried. If they're getting one, what should they do? So if you could tell us more about that. Yeah, I, there are certain schools that absolutely do interviews. Um, they're, they kind of do a first pass. The Ivy League schools will do a first pass of, of applicants and then set up interviews um, uh, according to that. But at the same time, there are other liberal arts colleges that will set up an interview. There'll be a local representative who you might meet at a Starbucks in Sherman Oaks, and um, they're representatives from the school. They are alum they're uh, an alumnus from the school. And what I really believe, and those are really important moments, interviews, um, is, is you want to be able to show them that you do, as I said before, have that kind of personal initiative, that you've done something in school that's going to blow them away. Um, I believe that you should make it a conversation and not make it just a one-way street where they're just asking you questions about why Brown or why Princeton. I think after you answer that question, and first of all, make sure you're doing the research and have a reason why it's Brown and why Princeton and not just because it's an Ivy League school <laughs> so that you actually have a really solid answer, but then ask them. Why did you attend Brown? Was there something that really brought you there? Did you have experiences that, that I can learn from? Because they want to see somebody, again, who's going to ask the right questions, who's going to be curious about that. And to your last question, Samantha, if you didn't get an interview and you're worried about not, uh, you didn't get an interview, students should always be, um, uh, should always contact the school. Never be afraid of contacting the school and saying, hey, yo, I applied to your school. I really want to go to your school. I'm not sure if you're giving out interviews. Now, not all schools in the country, UCs are not giving out interviews, et cetera. But if you're worried about that, reach out to the school and ask, uh, ask about it. Uh, I've seen that happen, Samantha. Um, and the, pers uh, 
the school said, no, no, we're still setting up interviews. Don't worry about it. You're going to be on the list. So, but overall, be prepared to have a smart conversation to talk about how you're going to add to that campus. Thank right. you. And so yeah. kind of going off of uh, the interaction between students and, and the college admissions officers or the whole process in general, um, you kind of touched on this before, but increasingly we are seeing students with the perfect scores and the numbers get rejected. And mm -hmm. I kind of wanted to elaborate on this more of why this is happening in our country and with the current university system. Yeah, because colleges are having a difficult time. Uh, exactly the reason why you said, Jake, They're, the numbers are so high. Colleges are having a diff uh, difficult time differentiating between one 1,600 and another 1,600, another 1,410, and another, you know, one 1,410 and another 1,410. So what is the way to differentiate yourself from those other students? It's to look like a student who is beyond just the numbers. Uh, examples, at Global Prep Academy, we, um, we, have, we offer clubs. Um, we have close to 27, I think 27 clubs. Um, each student who comes to GPA and joins our Take Action clubs creates a club that matters to them. It's not just something, oh, we're going to go pick up trash in, in the river. It's something that matters to them and because those kinds of personal um, uh, Projects are the kinds of projects that really get somebody passionate, right? So then a student creates a website, then a student is, is blogging, and then students create projects. So it's not the kind of club where you meet at lunch. All students know this. You meet at lunch, you hang out for a little bit, everybody dips out of the, out of the and no, nothing is done. We really believe that uh, our clubs are there to make a difference. <clears throat> so we've had clubs, uh, clubs that have, um, we just recently had a club, um, um, event that Jake participated in <clears throat> called Redress, where they were addressing yep. the fa fast fashion industry. Um, and, and we had a fashion show uh, attended by close to, close to 75 people. And, and when a student then writes about that in a college application or talks about that in a college interview, it's not just, I'm in Key Club in NHS CSF. It's, I did this. And uh, it was important to me, and I'm going to come to your campus, and I'm going to make a difference. And so, Jake, to your question, is numbers cannot tell the entire story. Colleges need another way. And so they're looking at college essays. They're looking at your extracurricular activities. They're looking at your passion and your personal initiative. Right. That's awesome. So um, I bet that's about all the time we have to ask you questions. Thank you so much, David, for being part of the show. Uh, it's been Definitely a pleasure and definitely eye opening for everyone. Um, you two are doing you you two are doing awesome work. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Um, Global Prep Academy is located on Cinema Drive. If anything David says, or if everything David says piqued your interest, uh, I would definitely check it out. I am a student there, and I definitely my life has definitely been changed by it. So. Yeah, thank love you so it. much, David. Thank you. Yeah, love it, Samantha, Jake. Another great interview. I want to highlight one quick thing. Uh, mentioned da David as we go off, and that is, I know Samantha, your passion is is uh, vice chair of the Wildcats Against Cancer. Mm -hmm. and so you took a passion of yours and basically brought St. Jude to Santa Clarita, and that's what it's all about, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Just like what Jake did and the fashion show they were talking about, it's it's really all about what you really want to do in your heart, and I think that. If you write about that, like David said in your college applications, that's what really makes you stand out. For and sure. it transcends the numbers. So yes. thanks again for coming in. We'll see you guys next month. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, David. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, David. Hope you enjoyed this edition of the Santa Creative Valley Chamber of Commerce Business Spotlight with uh, Samantha Marcus. Mar Marcus? Did yeah. you get that right? Yeah. I just want to say Marcos uh, and uh, Jake Gomez with Link, L-I-N-C, which is uh, Lincoln Individuals Network Connections on AM 1220 KHTS.